Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain important process of sheet metal that will be coining and embossing. So, let us start with the theory. So, basically, both coining and embossing operations are done cold and mechanical processes with the application of punch and die. So, that will be used to converting permanent deformation onto sheet metals. So, basically, if we talking about embossing process, some impressions are made on sheet metals in such a manner that the thickness of the sheet metals remains uniform all over even after the embossing has to be done. So, there is no basic changes into the dimensions. But some impressions like uh, some notations are there, some symbols are there, it will be impressed that will be generating onto top side of the sheet metals. So, it means that if one side of the sheet metals is raised to form a design, only one side, either it will be top or bottom, basically it will be top side, there is a corresponding depression onto the other side of the sheet metals. So, if I give one applications real, so in four wheels or two wheelers, basically that number plates nowadays available that will be having a impressions onto sheet metals as per your number plates. So, that is the embossing operations. So, one side of the sheet metal is raised to form a design. And according to that design or digit or number or alphabets, that will be corresponding depression onto the other side of the sheet metal. So, that will be my embossing operation. Basically, it is a pressing operation where not much force is required. Just you can make a impression. The sheet is sprayed onto the bottom die and the stroke of the punch is used to adjust that. When it moves down to its lower positions, it leaves a uniform clearance between the impressions carved into the punch and the die, which is equal to the thickness of the sheet is being embossed. So, most of the name plates or you can say that number plates of the automobile that will be made by the embossing operations. The design is transferred onto the sheet by bending the sheet up or down without altering its thickness anywhere. May decoration pieces with religious motifs are made in this way. This is also another application. So, in case of the coining, so coining process, a blank of the sheet metals, which is softened by the annealing process. Annealing means heating, holding, and cooling. So, basically in annealing that will be the furnace cooling is there. So, that will be make the material softer and which is placed between two dies containing an impression. So, in case of the coining both the surface or you can say top surface and bottom surface of the sheet metals that will be generating the impressions. In case of the embossing just you can make the impression on two top side then depression onto other side. But in case of the coining, both the side that will be having the same or that will be having a different impressions is being generated. That is the basic difference between embossing and coining. So, just you can see the basic process. This is my die materials. This is my punch. In between blank or you can say sheet matter is being placed. So, by lowering this punch and the application of the die it will be generating the impressions. So, here that will be the embossed part is there. So, according to their shape, then impressions, I would like to use the die materials or you can say shape of that punch materials. Just, just you can see this is the shape of the punch and die. And according to that shaping of the punch and die, when the punch is lower against the die materials and in between the blank materials, so, it will be permanently change the shape. So, into final one, just you can see this is my embossed component. So, the blank is restricted on its circumference in such a manner. 
that upon two dice closing upon the blank the material cannot be flow laterally it means sideways so basically it will be in between punch and die in coining the material is only free to flow upwards and downwards or basically you can say as a result which is fill of the depressions into the upper die when it's fill of the depressions into bottom die the result of the coining operation is that the designs engraved on the top and bottom dies gets imprint on the corresponding faces of the blank or you can say work piece material coins used as a money in daily uses are manufactured in this manner here the force require are much higher enough causes the plastic flow of the materials so i hope you can understand the basic process of coining and embossing if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching